Hi, my name is Rick. I'm Scott. And this is our uh, security system project. So what we have here is uh, we have a box. Uh, we have an object of interest inside the box that is heavily guarded by and monitored by three sensors. We have a temperature sensor on the side here, an optical sensor, an IR sensor on the side over here, and a force sensing resistor on the bottom here. And so, um, Scott will talk to you about it. Okay, so the purpose of the IR and pressure sensor is pretty straightforward, but some people may think, you know, why is the temperature sensor? Well, everyone, or well, if you read data sheets, you know that sensors have a uh, valid range to operate, so theoretically you can super cool this thing and it'd break it if you don't met, you, the sensors would stop working, in theory anyway. So with the temperature sensor, we'll know if the temperature is increasing or decreasing over some threshold value. Um, in terms of software, we have things, uh, when we start the system, it'll display the values, um, an approximate weight, approximate distance, and temperature on the LCD screen um, to make sure that we're not it's not refreshing too fast. It actually only updates every so often, even though the sensors are constantly reading. So you only see it update maybe every uh, tenth of a second or so, but it's actually reading hundreds of thousands of times in between those sets. So you're not going to like say, oh, look, it's just update. It's not updating, so I can grab it and get out. Um, as for operation, it's pretty straightforward. We use uh, our switches for a password input, quote unquote, and uh, the buttons for our enter key. So if you were if we're starting the system now and you do a wrong password, except it helps if I push the right button, um, it'll tell you that you have an invalid password and just wait. If you do the correct password, it'll start the system giving the distance in millimeters, an approximate weight in grams, and a temperature in degrees Celsius. So now, right now it's just at a steady state, which is good because no one's trying to touch it. But if someone were to try to touch We'll let Rick take this off because obviously I can't. <laughs> okay, so obviously someone would try to steal it, quote unquote. Okay, so if they try to steal it, obviously even just a little movement, we'll get a breach signal here, our LEDs of life on our board, and we have our little pattern here up on our LEDs on top of our container. And this series will continue until you enter the correct password again and reset it. Um, if you were to run the system, right now we're trying it uh, with nothing on it, but if you were to run it and enter a wrong password, it would just stay like that, you know, nothing would happen. But as soon as you enter the right password, it basically disarms the system. Uh, that's our project though. It makes use of three sensors, pretty straightforward, but very practical in terms of, you know, security is an important thing nowadays. So, yeah, anything to add? Great, thanks guys.